Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Omni's Eat. I'm going to be filming a full day of eating for you all today. Um, I am actually going to be traveling next week for work, and I'm going to be filming some travel what I eat in days. Um, I might film a full week, hopefully. We'll keep our fingers crossed and see if I have the time to do that. Um, lunch is going to be tricky, I think. We'll see. Uh, I've never been to this training location that I'm going to for work. So um, I don't know what to expect, to be honest with you. So um, we're going to play it by ear. But today I am definitely filming a full day of eating. If the next one you see is not a travel one, it's because I uh, didn't end up filming and I screwed up. So today I'm trying to skip breakfast. It's nine o'clock already anyway. I have my water here with me. I have not eaten breakfast just yet. Um, I am actually trying to recover from a cheat day. Uh, last week was John and I's 20th wedding anniversary and I had a cheat day and I had planned to have that cheat day for a while and I'm okay with the fact that I had that cheat day. I had a lot of carbs that day. I had a lot of sugar. I had a lot. Uh, it was our 20th wedding anniversary. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. So I was drinking um, alcohol. Uh, we were having champagne and chocolate covered strawberries and just a lot of stuff that was not keto friendly in any way, shape or form. Um, I have mentioned before that I'm a type two diabetic that is diet controlled. I did not take my blood sugar that day. I did take it um, the next day though, and my, my fasting blood sugar the day after was, was down into good range. It was, I think, 96 the next morning, um, for my fasting blood sugar. So it was actually really good the following morning. Um, but I did not take it the day I cheated. So long story short, uh, I gained weight. I gained... Uh, I think it was nine pounds in about a day and a half because I started eating the you know the night before our anniversary and then the whole day of our anniversary so I ended up gaining about nine pounds I am back down six of those nine no four of those nine six of those nine something like that um, I have a couple I have three more four more pounds left to go so I guess it was five of the nine I have four more pounds left to go to get back to my pre anniversary weight um, if you guys are interested in that um, so I do have to uh, I, I am still trying to to, to lose some of the, the water weight and the weight I gained from from having that cheat day so I am skipping breakfast this morning um, I don't know yet what I'm having for lunch and I don't know yet what I'm having for dinner. We, I have been making meal planning uh, for the week for the last couple of weeks and this week I just didn't get around to doing that. Um, we have plenty of food in the refrigerator and in the freezer and in the uh, cabinets and so forth. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can tell but my face is still a little bit, a pu little bit puffy but um, plenty of things to eat and I'm sure we'll figure something out tonight uh, and today at lunch. Um, for now, I just wanted to say good morning and welcome to my full day of eating. I am working today. Um, I work every day, Monday through Friday, unless I'm taking a special day off for some reason. And, uh, yeah, just wanted to say good morning and welcome to Omnizy. I will see you as soon as it is time for lunch, which will probably be around 1130. It depends on some of my meetings. So I'll see you when it's time for lunch. It is time for lunch and I am very hungry. <laughs> Uh, I did end up drinking, sorry I didn't show this to you, but I have a Rockstar, this one I'm not real fond of flavor, of the flavor actually. This is the Rockstar Sugar Free, it doesn't even have flavor written on it. Zero sugar, zero carbs. I don't know, it's kind of like a... I don't even know how to explain it. It's kind of like a uh, citrusy type of flavor, but it's not, I, I don't know. I don't like it. Um, I will not be buying that flavor again. So, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I am going to be eating for lunch and I'll put it together and I'll show it to you then after I'm done putting it together. <laughs> how about that? All right. So here we are, all of my raw ingredients. I have the Mission Carb Balance Tortilla. I know some people won't eat these, honestly. I 
I, I, I need to have something that is bread-like in my life. So I use those. Um, I have some salad. I have some tomatoes I'm going to cut up. I'm not going to eat two whole tomatoes. I just have to cut these up and I'll put, you know, some, I'll probably put about two ounces of tomatoes on my salad and put the rest in a container. I have some Members Mark Mexican style cheese, some, whoops, some uh, grocery store brand mozzarella cheese. I have some... Purdue shortcuts in the rotisserie seasoned flavor. This has zero carbs. And then I'm going to be using some of this blue cheese dressing today. So basically, I am eating something that I like to eat a lot. It is my chicken and cheese quesadilla and a salad. So this is going to be my lunch today. Uh, just because I have everything really handy, I have it down to a science at this point where I can make it really quick and easy. Um, I'm probably gonna be making some chicken salad at some point here uh, Not this week because I'm gonna be traveling next week, but sometime in the near future I've got all the ingredients and stuff. I'm probably gonna make some chicken salad. So yeah Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this together and I will show it to you and then I gotta figure out what we're having for dinner I don't know yet, but I'll show you what lunch looks like All right, my lunch is ready and I'm gonna show it to you and it's one of my favorite lunches of all time um, Because it's really tasty so I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you. Here we are, we've got a quesadilla. It's literally just got uh, 41 grams of chicken. It's got a full serving of the Mexican cheese and a half a serving of the mozzarella cheese. Yes. And then here's my salad. I have 200 grams of the mixed salad, two ounces of the tomato. I've got one and a half servings of the blue cheese dressing, a half a serving of the Mexican cheese, and a full serving of the mozzarella cheese. So this is going to be the meal for today's lunch. I don't know how best to show it to you. There it is, quesadilla and a salad. I am also going to be finishing up my Rockstar, which I have sitting somewhere. Here it is. Finishing up the rest of the Rockstar and also of course drinking lots and lots of water so that is what i'm going to be breaking my fast with today pretty easy to put together it took me about a half an hour but only because i had to, to cut all the tomato up which took the most time actually putting this all together actually only took about 15 minutes and that included like cutting up the chicken and getting the salad together and all that. So 15 minutes to put together real quick, real easy. If you're not eating the low carb tortillas, you could easily still do the chicken and cheese in a skillet. I've done that recently where I just heated the chicken up in a skillet, threw the cheese on, melted it. You could even do it in a microwave. Um, totally up to you. So, all right. I am gonna get back to work because it did take me about 25 minutes to put this all together. I'm gonna get back to work and I will see you guys at dinner time. Don't know what we're having yet, but we'll see you at dinner time. All right, y'all, it is time for dinner and John made up a keto lasagna. He used this, which we actually got this in a keto box. Hello, Nicholas. We got this in a keto box. This is the Natural Heaven Veggie Pasta Noodles. This is, um, oh, what are, what are these? These are the uh, palm, palm. Palm, heart of palm, heart of palm. So John made us a little mini lasagna. Um, I don't think Nicholas is gonna eat this cause he's not a big fan of this no, stuff. No, I left him part without, without cheese. Without cheese on it, oh, okay. So he used this, he used ricotta cheese and seasonings and mozzarella cheese and Rayos marinara. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like before I plate it. Um, unfortunately, because he made this this way, um, and really any way you're gonna make lasagna, it's pretty much impossible to break down the uh, macros. My macros are going to be estimates, unfortunately, today, but I am gonna be including macros once I get to dessert time. Um, it's just not gonna be exactly spot on because of the fact that, um, you know, we, ha we just have this lasagna and I'm gonna be eating portion of it, but not all of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you and you can uh, see what it looks like. The lighting in here is, is showing up very yellow. So this is, there this you is go. This is the part with cheese, this is the part without cheese for me. So showing you down here that it is the hearts of palm noodles with the ricotta cheese and some marinara and Ground, oh, ground beef. Ground steak, sorry. Ground steak and uh, mozzarella. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a portion of this on my plate 
and we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I'm just gonna be doing estimates for this as far as my macros go, but I will try the best I can to um, estimate. estimate what it is gonna be, so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get it on my plate and I will show you what it looks like once it's on my plate. All right, y'all, so this is what it looks like on the plate. It is not the prettiest piece of lasagna I've ever eaten because it kind of fell apart when I took it out of the container, but this is gonna be my lasagna. I haven't tried it yet. So uh, once we're done eating and I decide what I'm gonna have for dessert, I will certainly let you know what I think of this because I'm curious. John said he doesn't think I'm gonna like the uh, hearts of palm. Noodles. Noodles, yeah. I but I don't know, I might not taste it, we'll see. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and I'll let you know what I think. All right, y'all, I'm gonna just break in here real quick because I realized that I did not tell you what I thought of the lasagna. I thought it was pretty good, actually. Um, it, 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 I didn't taste the noodles, or the, the noodles. My son, Nicholas, um, who's been on this channel many times, he thought the noodles tasted like pickles. I do not like pickles, but I did not taste pickles on those noodles. So just wanted to break in here real quick. It's the next morning. I'm actually eating breakfast. I'm eating two hard boiled eggs for breakfast, not included in the macros for this video, but that's my breakfast the next morning. Yeah. Anyway, just wanted to give you that update that I really enjoy the lasagna. I would absolutely have that again. It hit the spot perfectly. I thought it was good. All right, back to the video. All right, y'all, it is time for dessert. And we decided to do a Starbucks run. This is, it's weirdly colored. So I'll show you what it is, but then I'll explain a little bit. This is a, it's gonna show up, Venti Passion Tango Tea with no liquid cane sugar, sugar-free vanilla, heavy cream, light ice, and five stevia monk fruits. And I've had this before on what I ate in a days, and this is definitely much darker pink than normal. Um, number one, I think he did light heavy cream, which is fine. But number two, he said that the tea had just been brewed, so it was hot, or not cold, is what I should say. And he poured it into the heavy whipping cream, and he's like, it just, it for some reason, the heavy, you, if you can see the bottom there, how it's like a different color. This heavy whipping cream for some reason is not mixing in very well with the tea, which is kind of odd. So I'm having that, which is part of my dessert. And then the rest of my dessert, let me show you what it's gonna be. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show it to you. So right here I have one serving of peanut butter. I have two servings of the No Better chocolate chips. If you haven't tried these, they're very good. They're actually, um, considered zero net carbs because they use allulose as their sweetener and they do have one gram of fiber. So two servings, it's, it's technically zero net carbs because like I said, allulose does not get, does not affect blood sugar. At least for me, I recommend that if you are having issues or are a diabetic, that you definitely test to see how those sugar alcohols or sugar alternatives affect your blood sugar because everyone is different. So I'm trying to get all of my my little miniature chocolate chips into my peanut butter, which is what I'm doing right here. Sorry it's taking so long, but they are really tiny chocolate chips. Um, if you guys can see how small they are, they're just a mini chocolate chip. So I'm gonna mix this together and have a chocolate peanut buttery goodness right here and drink my tea. It might not look normal, but it tastes just fine. I actually had to end up um, adding a little bit more ice when I got home because all the ice that they had put in it had melted because the tea was still warm. So, oh, in case you're wondering, I hadn't put these away yet. This is the No Better, the no better Chocolate Chips. Um, I would definitely recommend these. I'm gonna show you the nutrition information. Don't know if you guys can see that there but it has eight carbs, one fiber, and it says seven sugars. But the ingredients are natural unsweetened chocolate, allulose, and non-dairy cocoa butter. So um, yeah, zero net carbs on these. So the peanut butter though, I think is a four, 
net carb peanut butter, which is a little bit higher. I found that if you get just, like natural peanut butter, it's still higher in carbs. If you get the organic peanut butter, it's lower in carbs. And I, I'm trying to use up some of the natural peanut butters. I bought some at uh, Sam's Club, so I got these big containers of them. I have to use those up first, and then I'm gonna go back to using the organic. So right here behind, beside my head will be all of my macros for the day. As far as um, most of my macros goes, I, I think I'm doing pretty good actually. Uh, my carbs are a little high though today, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, it looks like I've got about 114 grams of fat, 73 grams of protein, 58 grams of carbohydrates, but I actually usually calculate that myself. So if the number up here for carbs is different, it's because some of the foods, when you put them in to MyFitnessPal, have the net carbs. Some of them have the total carbs. So I actually go through and confirm what the total carbs and net carbs are for each of the foods that I eat. And um, I, I calculate that myself because the, the app doesn't always have everything. So anyhow, I think I'm probably close to 30 net carbs today. I think so, because my dinner was actually pretty heavy in carbs because of the um, marinara sauce and the palm noodles. I think between those two, I had like nine or 10 grams of carbs right there, so. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my peanut butter and chocolate, drink my tea, and that is gonna wrap up my day. I hope you enjoyed this full day of eating keto. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit a little bell to notify you when I upload new videos. And if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. Do you guys wanna see any in particular videos? Do you wanna see maybe a John full day of eating? That's not gonna be very exciting. He eats a lot of snacks throughout the day. But, I don't know, maybe he can film something on a Saturday. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next Omni Z. Bye.